So apparently Kiki Palmer's old man slash baby daddy decided to speak out on her unmotherly like behavior and it done backfired. They done made that boy delete his accounts. Y'all ready to talk about it? Let's juice. Come on, Blazer. It's a beat for me. Girl, Kiki Palmer and her baby daddy got the whole internet set ablaze. And it initially started a debate, but then it turned into a straight up just bullying girl. And I'm bullied this boy off the whole internet, girl. Let me tell y'all something. So I guess we'll start from the beginning, then we'll get to how Darius, aka Kiki baby daddy was ran up off of all social media platforms now girl kiki uh decided to go down to the usher concert down there in vegas you know for a nice little girls night out you know just had a baby body snatching back looking better than all you know before and she posted i don't know if she posted it or someone else posted it but i guess usher serenaded miss kiki at the doggone concert now you know usher got this residency down there in vegas and they say the show is everything girl so i guess whenever this video got posted to social media kiki's stay-at-home baby daddy decided that he wanted to get up there and have a few words now listen i'm gonna be completely honest with y'all i feel like whatever relationship dynamic they have is whatever relationship dynamic they have uh i do feel like if it were me and i was the breadwinner and you was just my baby daddy i would feel like you personally can't tell me nothing now in regards to his so-called uh, original point and where he thought he was coming from as far as being a, a protector or whatever he thought he was doing by saying that he didn't appreciate her wearing the outfit, we come to find out that it has nothing to do with the outfit, y'all. But we'll get there. So Kiki's baby daddy, Lil Darius, that's what I'm going to call him, Lil Darius, because he just give me Lil Darius vibes. You know what I'm saying? It's just giving like, you know the light-skinned little boy you know he probably was tall or whatever but you know he love he loves you know soft like a shaman marshmallow or something or you know a little pack of tissue or whatever the case may be but ladarius decided that he wanted to get up on social media to address his woman not his wife his woman and tell her that he didn't like what she was wearing she's a mother now before we get into his tweets or his responses to what she's wearing let me just say this whatever their dynamic is between them two I just did a video, I'll say this, I just did a video recently on the image of black women. I like her outfit. I did not like that her entire butt was out, but that ain't me. I will say this though, I understand where he was trying to come from if he was genuinely trying to come from a good place, but it just landed on deaf ears and it didn't it didn't land the way he thought it was gonna land. You know what I'm saying? So uh Ladarius decided to get up there and say, It's the outfit though. You a mom. And I'm sitting here going, Well, so is he trying to say once you have kids you can't be sexy i mean outside of him feeling like maybe she was too uncovered and even if he felt like she was uncovered did you not see her before she left the house or was she down there at a hotel motel holiday inn i don't know it looks like she was out there with her home girls having a good time you know girls night out it was giving b simone vibes it was giving something you'll be doing and when while you're down there with b simone however i i'm just curious as to why Ladarius didn't feel like he could have called her directly or talked to her directly but nevertheless Ladarius he just could not let up child because as he went to defend his uh honor and his post uh black twitter was eating him alive do you hear me black twitter was tearing him a new and basically hiding about policing her and you not married to her the only one of the responses that i will say i agree with and that's just in a dynamic like mine not like anybody else's but if you're gonna pump a baby in me and you can't even muster up 150 dollars for a ring or at least the justice of the peace paperwork for us to get married and i am the sole provider and the sole person that takes care of you and the child you better not usher or no pun intended but you better not say two words to me because you can't have that masculine role and then not be masculine you get what i'm saying so anyway after they started tan ladarius up child tan him a new one he decided he wanted to defend what the hell he had to say so he goes on to say we live in a generation where a man of the family doesn't want the wife and mother to his kids to showcase booty cheeks to please others and he gets told how much of a hater he is this is my family and my representation i have standards and morals to what I believe. I rest my case. Oh, Ladarius. 
Ladarius, I'm about to pick apart this whole entire statement because none of it is true. Let me start with the first thing you said. We live in a generation where a man of the family doesn't want his wife and mother of his kids to showcase the booty cheeks to please others. And he gets told how much of a hater he is. Let's break down this first part. A man of the family doesn't want the wife and mother to his kids. Stop right there. Ladarius, y'all ain't married. See, black women, y'all got to stop letting these dudes call y'all their wives when it's convenient for them, but not actually marrying you. You get what I'm saying? If that's in fact what you want. And even if you don't want it, you need to correct that behavior because we're not going to play house and we're not going to play married. So that's why it came off disingenuous from the first couple of sentences or the first two lines because it's one huge long run on sentence to me but that right there lets me know this ain't about nothing but his feelings and then he goes on to say the mother of his kids to showcase booty cheeks to please others and he gets told how much of a hater he is well Ladarius uh can you come up to the front of the congregation because somebody has sent me this uh Ladarius what is this you posted this. Look at look at the caption. My son done transformed at Kiki. Ladarius. Ladarius. Come on up to the front of the congregation. We just want to talk to you. We're not going to jump you. Ladarius. You said you don't want your wife and mother of your kids to be flashing booty cheeks. Yet there's an entire doggone video of you videoing your so-called wife and mother of your kids flashing booty cheeks. Uh, Ladarius, come outside. We're not going to jump you. Just come outside. That's all I'm asking. Just come on outside. We're not going to jump you. But we is going to hold your ass accountable. Ladarius, you are full of crap. But let's get back to all this other BS that you claim that this was the motive behind your doggone post. So the last sentence was the one that really sent me uh, up to the ancestors. Ladarius says, this is my family and my representation. I have standards and morals to what I believe. Well, let's take this first sentence and break that down a little bit. He said, this is my family and my representation. First and foremost of anime, this is not your family. This is Kiki's family. Let me tell you why. I don't believe in playing tradition without actually practicing tradition. In traditional uh, issues or situations, you would be the breadwinner, hence making it be your family. You don't therefore get to just say this is my family because you have a schlong and uh, two golf balls behind it. You see what I'm saying? But yet, you know, we live in a culture in today's society where the men are so... Um, I don't want to say the wrong word, but, you know, you know, different and weird that they believe that they don't have to put in any work to actually have the things that they so-called require and would like to have as far as tradition. They don't do anything traditional, but they want all the tradition. You have standards and morals to what you believe. Ladarius, don't rest your case just yet because look at what you posted, Ladarius. Remember, this is post the baby. You said my son done transformed at Kiki. So that means she done had the baby. You know what I'm saying? She was looking good. And you were confident enough to post said booty cheeks in a doggone other post. Now, Ladarius, let's talk. Can we talk, Ladarius? Because I really want to get to the bottom of why you made the post. Because what we all know, as I just broke down your comment, it ain't had nothing to do with what you said. Honestly, I don't even think you care about her outfit. I don't. I don't think the outfit is the issue at all. What I think is you saw this Usher dude. I'm talking about this world famous, world renowned, legendary dude who got just as much, if not more money than Kiki serenading her. You didn't like the fact that they were so close together. You didn't like that the chemistry was flowing. You didn't like that the girls were cheering. You didn't like that bag shot when she turned around and you didn't like the way Usher looked at it. That was the whole thing, Darius. Ladarius. I'm going to need you to be honest. See, had you said that, I believe if Ladarius had came out and said, I don't appreciate this dude all, all up on my wife or my so-called wife or mother of my children, I think the internet would have left you alone. But no, Darius, you tried to hide how you really feel inside of a doggone post by actually addressing other things. And you know, Ladarius, I knew that you would do this. How did I know that you would do this? And this is probably what's really going on because you said it. Did. Ladarius, you said that you do this. Let's look at some more evidence. So now here we have Ladarius saying, when I get insecure about myself, I start to divert my issues instead of acknowledging it. 
okay, well, this didn't quite age well, uh, Ladarius, because that's exactly what you're doing. You're insecure about yourself. You're insecure that the woman that you're with, who just so happens to be the protector and the provider in your relationship, made you feel insecure when you saw a man of usher stature basically uh, squeezing up on your girl. Let's just say that. You know, you should have just came out and said that. But it's the insecurity for me. But, you know, Kiki going to come out and try to stand by her man, I guess. And she came out and said, not trying to be the person, but I love my man, period. You know, when the women put the T after the D, that means it's in the end the, in the of the sentence. You know what I'm saying? Kiki, uh, you done took an L. You done took an L because I feel like you are dating down. You got pregnant by a man who make way significantly less than you. He probably brings nothing to the table because allegedly they found out he ain't got no job. He's like Tommy out here. And now you have to defend this man. You got to get out here and start windmilling because your internet cousins came to your rescue. But it's too late, Kiki. You can't stop this rain. You can't stop the rain when it begins to fall. When it begins to fall. The ball was already rolling, Kiki. But you see, my problem is you've been one before. Normally, I don't deal with no doggone Steve Harvey, none of his hookups. As we see what happened down there with Shirley in the strawberry letter, we don't really believe, you know, that Steve Harvey is the person we need to be getting dating advice for. I know, I get it. It works for all. Uh, What's his daughter named? Lori Harvey. Not his biological one, but the step one. But it works for her. And, you know, she found her niche or whatever the case may be. But it just don't work for everybody, Steve. But Steve did try to warn you about dating down. And I think this is very, very important as black women because I see it a lot with your candy and tides, with uh, all your all these women, all these beautiful, black, successful women. Uh, even that girl, uh, what's that girl on Love and Hip Hop? Sierra who be getting them bum dudes and trying to turn them around and make it seem like they got money and they doing stuff. Y'all got to be strong and y'all got to stop that. Nevertheless, let me let y'all hear this doggone interview with Steve was telling uh, Kiki that she picking the wrong dudes and she don't need to date down. I'll come back with a little more commentary. And he, y'all can really create generations and generations of zillionaires. You need something zillionaires. with somebody with something. <laughs> Quit trying to give a boy your lifestyle and he ain't earned it. Oh my God, but you know what? Everybody don't start off as billionaires. I'm not a billionaire yet. Everybody don't start off a billionaire, but you got to have a boy that's got a plan to at least be one. I'm not saying you got to be a billionaire, because yeah. hell, I ain't a billionaire. And I've dated some real horrible billionaires, honey. They are not good all the time. <laughs> Sometimes they're crazy, Steve, and that's why I stopped taking your advice. You didn't, you didn't pick the one like, I told you to. I'm Steve, the billionaires because you are don't, terrible. Because you don't listen to who I tell you. Them billionaires be you having four and five and six other ones. Net worth of 300 zillion. And he... Now, Kiki, I get it. You know what I'm saying? You done found you a man. The dating pool is slim when y'all got money and you famous and all of that. I get that. So I'm going to give you that. But what I will say is when you go pick up a, a dust bunny out of the dust bucket... That's typically what happens. If you ask me, he's just sitting at home jealous because he got to be Mr. Mom and Mr. Nanny while you out enjoying and living your best life. Now, I don't typically say listen to Steve Harvey on anything, but when it comes to women and finances, if you want a traditional situation or if you're with a person who wants a traditional situation, the fact of the matter is he's going to have to be the breadwinner. A woman will rarely look at a man who cannot financially provide for her as a protector or as a leader. That's just the facts. I know a lot of people will say, well, that's not true. I'm with this man and I've let him lead. No, you don't. You might physically make it seem like you let him lead, but when you're the provider, it, it also comes with everything else. And at the end of the day, she went to windmilling for him because she out there hollering, oh, I love my man, that's it, my man, my man, my man. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't mad at her, you know, if, when you got your man, talk about your man. But what black women have to understand is when you go get men who make significantly less than you, hear me out, ladies, listen to me good. When you date a man who makes significantly less, not just $5,000, less $10,000, I'm talking about y'all aren't financially equally yoked. You're going to have a lot of issues with jealousy because that's all little, little, little Darius 
had to uh, come out and say because it was just jealousy. It was pure jealousy. It was pure like low key hatred because she's out there. She's looking good. She's feeling good. She's confident, especially when women have postpartum depression, typically behind having babies or right after having babies. You don't like that she's loving and living in the skin that she's in. And she's got the support of damn near all the black Twitter and black America. That's what the problem is. And ladies, please don't be fooled. Do not think that because you were the man, he will not either one be in competition with you or two, he won't be jealous of you. I see it in marriages, long-term marriages. I'm talking about marriages that's been here 10, 15, 20, 30, 40 years. I've seen it in all types of situations. So it's not too uncommon. You know what I mean? But I think that's basically what it is here. You're just jealous and you can't take it because you're the light-skinned dude who probably got all the dark-skinned girls' attentions. And now that the dark-skinned girl is getting all the attention, you can't take it. That's just my opinion. That's just my opinion. Now, Kiki, if you was with that man so you can have a little creme de la creme baby, then you're wrong for that. That's very colorist. But anyway, girl, social media end up getting a hold of it, girl, and told him a new one. Do you hear me? Girl, social media made this boy run and delete his account. But before we get to the accounts and all the stuff that people was tweeting, girl, because, you know, I've been on Twitter since yesterday behind this stuff, girl. Before we get to that, I got to show you this TikTok this guy made that had me rolling but it was so accurate let me let y'all hear this tiktok and i'll come right back with a little more commentary kiki palmer's boyfriend decided to hop on twitter and criticize the mother of his child publicly responding to a tweet saying it's the outfit though you a mom after getting a ton of pushback he released some statement talking about he has standards and morals and this is his family i'll break this down really simply for you darius we don't give a that you have morals. We care that you hopped on the internet to criticize the mother of your child publicly in front of other people to try to make her look dumb. You were talking about this generation, this and that, and I actually agree with you. This generation's men is too comfortable disrespecting women in public. You have standards and morals? Is one of those standards teaching your child to disrespect his mom? I don't know your situation, but I'm gonna take a gander and say that since your woman is the breadwinner and probably takes care of you, you wanted to display your manhood in public and try to make a fool of her to make yourself look better. You don't look like a moral man, you look like a little insecure boy who needs to grow up. Okay, when I tell you baby doll just ate, he just ate. And let me just say this as well. I just want to say to my black gay men, I truly appreciate you. Black gay men are really the protectors of our community when you really think about it because they are going to tell the truth because although they are gay and I'm just assuming that he's gay, please don't, if he's not, I apologize, but I'm assuming that he's gay. But even in that assumption, what I love about black gay men is they're all, they're still black men, right? And they're going to tell us the truth. They're going to tell us, hey, this is really what it is. It ain't what he's saying. And I love that black men or black gay men i'm sorry protect black women in those type of situations because they can read through the bs and say girl he's full of it he's full of it and shout out to him for his thoughts so now i commenced to go and looking for all the other dragon because they was just dragging girl in the first place i stopped was instagram under the shade room girl and the shade room uh posted the whole situation and this one girl said marry her and then get a job or please stay at home and turn the blind eye just like women do when i tell you this one touched my my spirit you did you see how I like that how I hoarded that if I could have hoarded that a thousand times I would have for the simple reason that women when women date men I'm not gonna put a color in it but when women who make significantly less than men date those type of men they let the men cheat in peace they do they have to because if in order to maintain the lifestyle that they have they have to just take it I mean, listen, I'm not saying that stuff don't go down at the house, but when it comes to public and all of that, they're not leaving a bag, so they're not going to bring it to the public. I'm talking about the main chick, not the side chick. Ladarius would be the main chick in this situation. Why couldn't he just wait till she get home and say, babe, I really didn't appreciate that. But no, you wanted attention, so that's the attention you got. So then I hops over to Twitter, and girl, the first thing I saw was, what does Darius do? Girl, Darius, Ladarius don't do nothing. He sit up on Twitter while he's burping the baby, uh, watching his baby mama to see what she got going on. But that was just the icing on the cake. It got worse. Somebody said, it's Usher. Like, come on now. I could see if it was Jacquees. And baby, I hollered. Do you know how hard I hollered? Because Jacquees hollered, leave me out of it. I know that's right, Jacquees. This one girl then took to Twitter and said, mind you, he posting in his drawers and no shirt on. And you know what? 
that's another thing we need to address. Everybody want to say because he, he doesn't have the body parts of women that it's not as bad, but it really is. Nevertheless, Ladarius couldn't take the heat, so he got up out of the kitchen. And Ladarius went down there and deleted his account. Ladarius. Did you let the world of the internet bully you? See, I think Ladarius thought that he was going to get up here and say that and have those incel, manosphere, red pill, Kevin Samuel Siemens out to have his back. And they were going to, you know, be a, be a one force like the Avengers. But the problem with that, Ladarius, is the power of black women is unrenounced. Do you hear me? It is unmatched. Do you understand who we are? We are who we are and you are who you are because of us. OK, uh, I just needed him to know that. Now things begin to get heated and Kiki's baby daddy was trending and girl, I hollered. I logged into Twitter and saw stuff like this. It says, wait, Kiki baby daddy ain't got a job neither. Nigga, log off the internet and hush. Oh my God, as you should. Laugh my ass off. Kiki baby daddy has deleted his Twitter. If you can't take it, don't dish it. I candy don't talk. Exactly. That's what you were hired to do. You know, like Todd, but Todd's starting to come out a little bit too much too, and it's getting on my nerves. Y'all are hired in a position. Do what you're supposed to do, okay? You, you're doing too much. The next one says, we live in a generation where the man does not want to marry the woman he sleeps with, but he wants to play house, then have the audacity to complain and try to control the woman. Kiki baby daddy got too much dip on his chip. Just hold the baby and hush. And listen, this rang true to me too, because why you can't be like, oh, uh, ASAP Rocky. ASAP Rocky is being kept and he ain't got a word to say. Do you hear me? He even in the picture following behind his woman because that's basically what you're doing when she make the most money. There is no male leadership when you're with a partner and the female makes more money than you. It does not exist. I'm telling you, people can mask it like it does, but it truly doesn't. You need to be taking some doggone notes from ASAP Rocky. You need to call him. Anyway, so more tweets came out. This one says, not Kiki Baby Daddy trending. And then another one says, Kiki Baby Daddy ain't never had a bad biatch because that's regular. I promise you. The other person says, the thing with Kiki Baby Daddy is this Negro need to learn when they have a bad to simply shut the F up and enjoy. Now the internet know you only have traditional morals when you want to demean and control your effing girl, bozo. You have it right, sir. These two men on this thread have it absolutely right. Y'all are absolutely killing it with this. He deserves all this backlash. Now another tweet says, this is how black Twitter made Kiki baby daddy feel before deleting his account. Absolutely. This is absolutely correct. Because Ladarius really thought he was going to get up here and drag Kiki and the Manosphere was going to all come team up and help him. And it backfired. And you know what? He deserves deleting his account. He deserves everything. And he'll know next time not to call himself demeaning and belittling his wife, so-called wife or mother of his child for social media consumption. He was even on a podcast talking about how like she doesn't want her business out in the middle of the streets. She preferred that they handle their business at the house and you went against the code. There's proof of that too. I got this clip right here and I'll come right back for final commentary. What happens if you ever had a Summer Walker situation with me? Some girl was just like, yo, uh -oh. just, just so you know, she was wearing like my Eagles jersey. She's not even getting on the line with me. She not, I'm not talking to nobody. I don't care. She could be standing next to you in a picture. My name, I'm blind. <laughs> I'm Stevie Wonder to the bullshit. Whatever that we going through, it's, we talking about that in the closet. Like, we uh. ain't nobody like, it's on some like, he's got a twin brother. Uh -huh. <laughs> like, I'm not discussing but then, that. But then how are you going to react when people bring it to you? I saw your man or I saw that. And you know, people are And I saw your man. <laughs> I didn't want to bring it up, but since we're bringing it up, have you checked with him? <laughs> and, and, and what happens if... So now, do you see how you violated house rule number one, Ladarius? She literally said she does not like discussing her issues in public. And you decided to take the social media to uh, profess your disgruntled or disdain or disapproval for of your so-called wife and mother of your kids. You got exactly what you deserved. Uh, the fact that they had you delete your accounts is warranted and it'll help you to better make decisions. Next time you have an issue with your so-called wife, you'll talk to her personally. And if you can't get in touch with her that's fine just wait until she finished turning up and hopefully she don't end up at the hotel motel holiday inn with mr ursher baby do you understand what i'm saying if you can't take the heat get out the kitchen 
If you are insecure and not man enough to be able to take that, you are dealing with a woman Kiki Palmer status, and that's basically what comes with it. I'm gonna know what y'all think. Please drop down in the comments, let me know what y'all think, and I'm gonna leave y'all with a back shot of my girl, Miss Kiki Palmer, girl. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and leave your thoughts and comments and whatever the case may be, and I will see you always later. Bye. Mr. Carroll. How you give the voodoo dog time to talk? I don't get no fucking time to talk. Who the voodoo dog is? The nigga you just had up here.